No. With that, I'll go out to Zach and thank you guys again for coming. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Rob, and everyone on the Build Worlds team. They've done a great job putting this event together and getting everything organized. Um, made our lives a lot easier. Um, I'm Zach Hupkovic. I'm the director of special projects for our two companies. Um, very quickly, I'm going to go through a little bit of context with Goose Island, um, historical and geographical. Um, before I do that, I just want to say thank you for everyone coming here. Um, in some way or another, every single person here has touched Goose Island in a certain way. Um, over the past year, there's been incredible you know, growth and momentum towards Goose Island, and, and it's really an opportunity uh, for Goose Island to grow uh, with Chicago, and uh, as Chicago grows into a global city. So just thank you everyone for being here. So I'm going to start off really quickly. This is Goose Island today. OK, so uh, if you look at it, it's, it's a little bit blighted. This is actually our building at 99 West Bliss. It um, has a laser pointer, so it's the first thing we can find. Uh, we have no sidewalks at 909 West Bliss. You can actually see the proximity to downtown Chicago with Willis Tower uh, in the background. Um, this is also 909 West Bliss. You can see that you know, it's, it's, it's very gritty, it's very industrial, very urbanized. And uh, you know, obviously, we, uh, the, the Goose Island Shrimp House, which is uh, one of Dan Lyon's favorite favorite restaurants. He's <laughs> <laughs> um, a little bit of an aerial view of Goose Island. Uh, you can see the, the, the North Branch of the Chicago River here. You know, incredible river access um, that's basically blanketed by very nondescript buildings. Um, it makes Goose Island, you know, suboptimal in our opinion. Uh, so I have to say this, but you really have to see the forest of the trees to understand you know, the scenario of the situation. And that's what we're looking at in Goose Island. So we'll look at this from a bird's eye view. Um, what do you guys realize it or not? Goose Island is a real island. Here it is in Chicago. This is the loop down here. You can see the size of it, and it's pretty tremendous. You guys have probably all driven on Division Street, Halstead Street. You've seen Wrigley's uh, campus on North Avenue. Uh, you've driven by in Chicago Avenue. Probably never had any idea that you were on this island. You knew it was a beer company and, and maybe nothing else. Um, so here it is. It's on the map. It's on Google Maps. You know, big name right there. That's where the name came from here. So um, I think this just tells a really, a really different story about this island and a story that we're very familiar with that I hope you guys will be. Uh, at the end of the meeting. So, uh, to me, Goose Island is, uh, is, is really it's a great story about its history and, its, and, and being part of the fabric of Chicago. But really, why we're all here is it's, it's part of the real estate fabric of Chicago. Um, Goose Island is great real estate. So, to prove that point, you know, there's Lincoln Park, there's Gold Coast Mill Town, there's River North, River West, Ukrainian Village, Wicker Park, and Bucktown. So with all the movement that we see west of the highway uh, for residential development, commercial development, along Milwaukee Avenue, everything that's happened west of the city over the past 15 or 20 years, Goose Island is suddenly you know, kind of the cornerstone of real estate in Chicago. Um, and I think this is really powerful and it's something that you, know, you never understand just walking on the streets there and driving by in Division Street. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of Goose Island. Uh, Goose Island is actually originally a man-made island. Uh, so this is the natural bend of the north branch of the Chicago River. And this was actually a dredged canal that was dredged in 1862. It was actually first proposed by William Ogden, who was the uh, first mayor of Chicago. So he actually bought all of this land, where Goose Island is, uh, through the Chicago Land Trust, which uh, purchased hundreds and hundreds of acres of land in, in the 1860s. And uh, this was really part of the fabric of Chicago, tying in uh, commercial use and industrial use into Chicago, being able to transport goods, goods all over the country. Um, so you can see it here. This is uh, an old photograph, obviously. Uh, this is the north branch of, uh, of North Avenue here, the north branch of Chicago River. Feeds here. This is where the barges turned around. Barges would come down the two canals. And this was a major innovation at the time in 1862. And what happened was it led to Goose uh, Island's Golden Age, which was the 1860s, really until the Great Depression, the Great Depression in the 19th. And uh, what you saw was Chicago grew and industrialized since the Industrial Age uh, really happened in U.S. cities, and Goose Island was a really big part of that. The Great Depression hit a lot of uh, manufacturers on Goose Island and in the neighborhoods of uh, North Chicago. Uh, they started to move to the suburbs. World War II happened, baby boomer generation, urban sprawl happened, um, and what was left was really a lot of vacant land. Uh, a few manufacturers were left over, but there was really this vacuum of tax revenue, of, of socioeconomic problems that happened on Goose Island um, that really lingered from 1920 all the way to 1990. So in the 90s, what you saw was uh, you know, a, a reorganization of core urban centers, especially in Chicago. 
So people started moving back to the cities. We saw you know, things like the planned manufacturing districts uh, and, and zoning changes uh, come into place in Chicago especially, and you started to see a turnaround. We started to see adaptive reuse developments um, in these neighborhoods and all over Chicago. Um, that's when the turnaround really started for Goose Island. So, Going this out there, uh, you know, giving you guys a little more context of, of what Goose Island is today and what it is currently in 2015. Um, here's the island. It's a great aerial view, uh, photograph. You can see it's real island in my line of uh, Here's Wrigley at the north end. So it's bookended by Wrigley, and then you'll see later at the south end by Kendall College. Uh, Mercedes Benz Chicago is on uh, Division Street. The CTA has a really large facility, uh, it's a distribution facility for them on the island. Here's FedEx, they also have a distribution facility uh, right next to CTA. Here's JDL, uh, this is a small one, but I think this is really important. JDL is a, is a great developer in Chicago, it's a high-end uh, residential developer, and he chose to put his office on Goose Island and own land there, which we think is really instructive and really interesting. Uh, and there's Kendall College, so I'm sure Mike will talk about it later, but uh, the incredible adaptive reuse project that was on Goose Island and, uh, in the early 90s, it was really uh, ahead, of its, ahead of its time. Uh, and then Greyhound Bus is at the southern end of the side. So then to give you guys a little more context on what we're going to talk about tonight, uh, UI Labs and DMDII, they're in the old Republic window building, uh, which is right here on this island. 909 West Bliss, this is our adaptive reuse project, our two companies. Um, and then 934 North Branch, which uh, you guys probably know now is the Goose Island boat yard. Um, and those are facilities. So I'm going to leave you with this before I hand it over to the panelists, but uh, does anybody know what this is? This is Kendall College, yeah, before it was redeveloped. So it really shows you, um, you know, what happened to these buildings over the 60, 70 year you know, lifespan uh, where they weren't maintained, they weren't taken care of. Um, and the opportunities for redevelopment, and, and I think this is a microcosm of what's gonna happen in Goose Island in general. So uh, that's what it looks like now, which I think is pretty incredible. Did you know that picture was taken? Mike, you know that picture was So it's what developed in the early 90s. So we think it's pretty incredible. Um, we think it's instructive for everything that's happening now with our projects and everywhere on Goose Island. So uh, that being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it off to Dan. Dan, thanks. Great. Hey, let's give Zach a round.